For the past 12 years, the Austin Flea has been popping up around town featuring local crafters and makers. And this week, it is headed over to Violet Crown Clubhouse. Tierra Newbaum is live in North Austin with a preview. Good morning, Tierra. Good morning to you, Amanda. It's been really fun getting to see some of these really talented crafters in our area. And this is just a preview of who will be out here on Saturday. And uh, Chris with Kaiju Cut and Sew, you are one of them. And uh, during the pandemic, you donated more than $25,000 to 15 different organizations from your mask making. Yep. So can you just kind of talk about that and then about your work and what inspires it? Sure. So when the pandemic happened, I wasn't even making face masks. I was making leather goods and soft goods. Um, and I kind of pivoted my business full time to making face masks. Um, and the first charity was Stand with Austin. And I donated a thousand to Stand with Austin. And so I just switched my charities every week to a different local charity to the food bank, uh, Austin Pets Alive. And then that's pretty much my focus for, for 12 to 14 hours a day for the first six months. And then I was able to switch back to making. Uh, leather goods and soft goods um, once things kind of slow down a little bit. Well, these are some really unique products. So what would you say makes um, your products different than, than some others that people might be able to find? Sure. So I focus with Japanese fabrics. I do minimalist items such as fanny packs and wallets. Um, these wallets kind of fold in half um, and then the fanny packs have a built-in wallet in the inside. So everything that I make is done by hand. Um, and again, I focus with Japanese fabrics. So many unique products. I'll sneak over here through the rain. And Emlyn of Solid Soaps, some beautiful soaps. Just so many talented crafters in our area. Can you tell us about what makes your items unique? Sure. Um, so I make all of these soaps with natural colorants. I have vegan options. And it makes for a really practical, consumable gift um, to give to your loved ones, either here in Austin, or somewhere out of state. It most yeah. definitely does. What are some of the fan favorites on the different scents that you have? Yes, I would say my fav uh, the market favorite would be tobacco and bay leaf. Um, contrary to the name, it does not smell like cigarette <laughs> smoke, but it has bergamot in it, and it's a really bright, uplifting scent. That smells amazing. It just smells amazing over here in Thanks general. So and Emily, you really focus on giving back to the community as well. Can you talk about that a little I bit? I do. So um, my solid soap sticker, which inspired my name of my right fist because I'm left handed. Um, I drew that sticker and each uh, sticker, a dollar, I will donate to either Black Mamas ATX or uh, Austin Justice Coalition. So. So many talented crafters doing incredible things in our community and making really cool products. Chris and Emlyn, thank you guys so much for your time this morning. Austin Flea at the Violet Crown Clubhouse, Saturday from 10 to 4, live music starting at 1 o'clock. Amanda, we'll check in with you guys in a bit. Back to you.